All right, I got the, uh, the intake off. There's actually two bolts on the back of that that I showed you on that uh, radiator, or the uh, support brackets. The hose I took off is right down in here. And then um, I should be able to just pull all the head bolts off now. They are a T55 Torx bolt. And you're gonna wanna start from the middle. And you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, around. And uh, I gotta get these three bolts here out. And I'll be back to look at the head here in a second. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this part of the video. And I will be back after I get the uh, head off. And we'll look at to see what the valves did. Uh, right now I'm just gonna be removing the bolts. And pretty much we're done with everything to get to the head. All right, I'll talk to you later, bye. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to remove this bolt right here. Okay, that's gonna help you take the intake off and over on this other side here. I took the bracket off for the uh, alternator and it's got a bracket that runs from the alternator back to the back of the intake. You're gonna to wanna to take that off and you'll be able to remove the intake. Okay, all the bolts. Off. There's 10 of them just like on the front here. Um, and there is a hose clamp that you're going to have to undo down in there. And then the intake will be off. And then I just got to remove these three little screw heads. And I should be able to unbolt the uh, head and remove it. Okay. And I will be back after that. Thanks. Also, on the back of that intake, there's a bolt all the way on the bottom that you're going to have to get out, and then you'll be able to remove that fully. And I will see you then. 